Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. This is our first run review of the Salomon S Lab Phantasm 2. So the S-Lad Phantasm is Salomon's top carbon racing shoe. Their range gets a little bit confusing because it's, it's not the successor to the Phantasm 1, it's the successor to the Phantasm CF, carbon fibre. There was also a Phantasm low stack racing shoe. And there's also just the Phantasm 2, which is the training partner shoe to the S-Lab Phantasm 2. Needlessly confusing, I would say, from Salomon, but yeah, S-Lab is the key word here. That means it's the top of the range racing option you're getting. Also, the price will give you a clue because it's very expensive. It's £240 in the UK, $275 in the US. It's a lightweight shoe at 226 grams or eight ounces in a UK 9.5 and it's got a nine millimeter drop with a stack height of 37.5 millimeters at the heel and 28.5 millimeters at the forefoot. Now, the big change compared to the Phantasm CF, which was a pretty good carbon shoe in its own right, I'd say, is the foam in the midsole. You've now got a full PVAX midsole in two different layers of the foam. To the touch, the, the bottom layer feels noticeably softer than the top layer, which is a strange thing. I'm not really coming across that. Usually with dual density midsoles, the soft layer is on top, but we'll see how that feels on the run. This is the new Energy Foam Plus. With the S-Lab Phantasm CF, you had an Alephin foam there, I think, and it just isn't as bouncy as PVAX. That's why everyone's using PVAX these days. It's also a lot lighter. The shoe does come in a lot lighter than the Phantasm CF, despite the fact this is a bigger size than the one I used for the Phantasm. So in general, everything's just moving towards what you get from other shoes on the market. PVAX midsole, higher stack, uh, even though it's not quite 40 millimeters, yeah, the usual stuff with a full length carbon plate running through it, which is Salomon's Energy Blade. You have a single layer mesh upper, which you can see is nice and see-through, which obviously makes it lighter. Everyone knows that. And with minimal padding and not much of a heel counter going on either, a nice lightweight upper all round. You've got Salomon's Contagrip rubber outsole, which has got two strips at the back, pretty good forefoot coverage. It's Contagrip has been pretty grippy for me in the past, and this looks like a pretty solid outsole for a racing shoe. I think tomorrow when I go and run the shoe, it's going to be very wet, so I think I'll get a good chance to test that. Overall, I did quite like the Phantasm CF. I ran like a 236 marathon of them, almost out of the box. and really enjoyed using them in general, but they did have probably slightly more super trainer vibe to them than full super shoe, and they had the price of a full super shoe, so I'm hoping that the Seslav Phantasm 2 can really live up to its billing as a proper super shoe set to rival the best on the market. Coming on to the fit of the S-Lab Phantasm 2. So I've got a UK 9.5, which is actually half size up on my normal UK size because that was the sample available for review. But interestingly, that's a US 10 or an EU 44, which is often the size I am as well when the other brands convert a UK 9. So it doesn't actually fit that badly. I've got a little bit, probably too much room on my left side because my left foot's slightly shorter than my right foot. But overall, it's not too bad. I think probably go with your normal size overall, but I haven't had any problems with this half size up, which is the same size in some other countries. No problems around the heel today on the run. That stayed in place really well. Nice mid foot hold. I did have to adjust the laces to really pull it tight because it probably is slightly bigger than my normal shoe. So it's hard to say definitively what to do because I haven't got my normal size here but I think the fit is pretty much fine the tongue is much improved on this shoe compared to the Phantasm CF which had a very fussy and annoying tongue to deal with it's just a better tongue all around so that's no longer a problem morning morning I am just off to do my first run in the S-Lab Phantasm 2 it's a pretty wet and windy day uh, it's, been a, it's been a rough morning so far I won't lie my cat's made a mess everywhere my kid refused to sleep I need a win I need this run to go well and it's a pretty hard run I'm gonna be doing a progression 10k first 3k at 345k next 3k at 335k then 325k for 3k kick the last k it's the kind of run that tends to be really tough I think I often get set it by my coach quite early on when I'm just feeling out fitness as a bit of a tester so we'll see how it goes today uh, nothing's really going to plan this morning I'm not exactly gone where I want to do the run so I'm gonna have to try and just do it where I am. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Anyway, looking forward to testing out the shoes. So just back, uh, that went really well. Um, surprisingly well, yeah, hit the paces quite nicely there. Very comfortable for the first 6K, even though it was tipping it down. I ended up on a short little uh, 850 meter loop, I know, just because that way I could balance out the wind a bit rather than going out into the wind, coming back with it, because it was pretty blowy in one direction. Uh, yeah, then 3K, 325 was okay, held it okay, and then kick was a bit desperate but i managed to get sub 320 for the last k at least so 
yeah good session and the shoes were really good actually the actual ride feel at times was excellent you've got a lot of softness there but it certainly gives you that tip forward a little bit of a kick as well it's not just mushy softness it feels very light and nimble and, you know i feel like i keep turning my feet over when i tried to push at the end it was easy to lift them up and keep pushing through reminding me a little bit of the um they fly three i'd say almost because it is quite soft but you do get the firmness that you need to push onto your forefoot and toe off nicely so yeah big positive on the ride quick shoe really impressed actually uh, how that went today uh, really enjoyed how it felt less good the outsole was an absolute nightmare like it's first run out of the box so maybe it'll scuff up a bit but there were sections of that run i just couldn't run i had to really go slowly and certain kinds and it was all flat tarmac i was on but some of it was just very slippy was getting no purchase from the a bit on the front there trying to you know grip in under the forefoot and toe off just didn't get anything so on the loop there was one bit i had to slow down a little bit which really wasn't ideal um I'm hoping that will improve as the outside scuffs up because this was fresh out of the box and it was maybe a bit slick because of that but that was really surprising for a salomon shoe yeah you know contour grip i think it's been good for me before so i'll have to see that in the future but yeah certainly feels like uh, the ride here is a proper super shoe really enjoyed that today um we'll be getting out and doing more testing obviously but big tick on the ride today uh, in the uh, salomon s lab phantasm 2 really fast really enjoyed it So that was very enjoyable first run today in the um in the phantasm 2 like i said before the run i needed a win today and i really felt good on that run today really smooth controlled the pace all the way through like the first 6k was holding back as you'd hope on that kind of run and then on the 3k at 325 i was right on the pace and when i dropped slightly off it i could speed up and control it quite well and then a little bit of a kick at the end not much of a kick so and the shoe just felt really good throughout like i said in the uh in just after the run there it's quite a soft feeling shoe but it doesn't at all detract from the propulsion you get from it it does leave you forward give you that boost from the plate and the foam and even as a heel strike coming on the big chunk at the back there with the what i feel like is softer foam underneath the heel it felt very comfortable but not at all spongy or slowing you down at all the transition was still very snappy and fast like i said at the end of the run it did remind me a little bit of the vaporfly 3 which is obviously a little bit softer than the vaporfly 2 which had that more aggressive ride i think this is a shoe that so far i really like the feel of and i think it worked very well for a nice range of distances so second half of that run today was a pretty decent 5k for me in the state i am overall so and it didn't feel hard to turn my feet over at the end it really felt like a quick shoe lots of bounce lots of protection lots of comfort not a lot of grip right now i do think that hopefully will come in time yeah i really hope it does come in time but it really felt it like it needed a smooth surface to interact with it so on the bits i was skidding a little bit was just it was road but it like a flat road but just slightly bobbly at the time like not completely smooth and i just don't think it, as soon as it was on that surface it slipped really quickly and this wasn't very good for maintaining a pace so i had to have to slow down on those little sections but Hopefully that will improve in time. And you know, for the most part, if you're on nice smooth roads, it probably won't come up. And it was a very unpleasant wet day today where it wasn't exactly bucketing down, but it was that real sheer slick feeling on pavements, which is never ideal for any shoe. But yeah, compared to the Phantasm CF, you've got the softer ride here, the bouncier ride. The Phantasm CF was really all about the rocker, which I really liked on it. I thought it was a really good rocker and I felt I could run quick in it because of that, but the foam wasn't necessarily exceptional. It was a slightly firmer than most super shoes with that rocker that meant I could run quick in it, but I don't think it was an amazing super shoe on the market at large. Like I said earlier on, it felt more like a training, like super trainer. The Phantasm 2 does have that super shoe feel to it, and I'm really looking forward to getting out and again, hopefully try and fit in a race in it as well if we can before I get to the full review. But yeah, very good first run. A lot happier now than I was first thing this morning. Good run in the bag. That's our first look at the Salomon S-Lab Phantasm 2. Uh, have you been checking this out? Have you been checking out Salomon's road shoes in general? Let us know in the comments below. Please do like and subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.